Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports did the business, and we're still trying to recover from an incredible day of content yesterday on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. What I want to do in this video today is take a look at footies as a whole, talk about the players that are dropped in packs with Batch 1. Prices are dropping like crazy in some areas, but prices are going up like crazy in others. I want to break that down for you guys and also talk about the wild SBC content that we had with a very surprise and unexpected twist on footies with the footies player pick and the Premier League campaign bag player pick being dropped yesterday. This has fodder going up instead of down in some areas. And I want to talk about the player SBCs, Luis Diaz, DePaul, and the insane objectives that we had yesterday as well. I want to break down today on Saturday and talk about what could be coming on the game and look at how EA made multiple mistakes yesterday. And we kind of need to look at those because EA has been making a lot of mistakes yes, uh, recently uh, and it's really interesting. Like I can go do the Chris Wood SBC for a second time. I already have him in my team. Why in the world is this SBC available for me still? I don't know. There's been a lot of errors recently and there were more yesterday. So I want to take a look at all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it and if you're loving footies, hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Now, let's start by looking at the web page that EA posted. I don't want to talk too long about this stuff, but I think there's something that we can learn that we kind of skipped over yesterday when we were absorbing all of this information that EA was putting and throwing out at us. I think we missed something here and it's going to help us kind of plan for the next week or so how each week of footies is going to look. It says in game that it's a five week promo. It even says right here the next five weeks and the voting looks like it is only going to happen weekly. Now we just had a vote. It started last Wednesday, right? We had Diaz, Havertz and Juan Bisaka and we know that Diaz was number one, Havertz was number two. So we know that, as EA have said, the weekly vote gives you two winners each week. So if we're going to get a Diaz SBC, which we did yesterday, and we're still going to get a Havertz SBC, we're still waiting on that Havertz. But if the voting is only happening weekly, then we're only going to be getting two SBCs per week. But I think the reason they're doing that is they're dropping all of the voting SBCs as the premium Footies items, which if you did not know, and I have Luis Diaz in my team, so I can show you this very easily. All of these cards that have the little crown on them, right? See the little crown above the number? That is a premium footies item. It looks better. It's got more gold in the card. Love the card design here, right? This card actually has the same exact chemistry system as a foot heroes player. A lot of you guys know this, but just to make it really simple and easy here, Luis Diaz should not get a green link to Conte as he normally would. But since he has this new premium footies car design, it acts just like a hero and he gets green links to anybody in the Premier League. And that makes it also seem that this whole voting thing weekly is like EA is going to try to push us towards, they're going to focus on a different league every single week. This week we had Premier League, right? We had Luis Diaz that was dropped in the SBC section. And then, of course, we had the objective dy dynamic duo for Mason Mount and for Reese James. And as you notice, this goes away in one week. So it seems like they're really trying to push a different league each and every week through this voting system. So that Luis Diaz SBC, by the way, as our first premium footies item via the SBC vote that dropped in the game, I think this is a really solid item. I think it's a really good card. You can see he's got a lot of upvotes, very popular player. He did not get the five star skills, which is a little bit of a bummer. But with the links that he has, and it is a really good card, I have used him, I have done him, he's solid. I think Insigne is a little bit better, but 280k is not that hard to complete. It will be very craftable when player picks come out and when upgrade packs come out uh, this coming Monday. So if this has any, if you have any interest of this, it's a pretty solid SBC card. I have no problem with that. But the next question is, we know we're getting a second SBC for Havertz. When is that going to drop? Really, we can maybe start to map out what this schedule might look like each week for the footies weekly voting. If we get the voting on a Wednesday, they drop the new SBC on a Friday when they transition to a different league focus, if you will. If we think they're going to continue doing that, then I would expect Havertz to be anytime between like Sunday and Tuesday. It could be today on Saturday, but I just I don't think that they would want to drop those two SBCs back to back right away unless they have some other plans in mind and they're going to do other things uh, related to player SBCs. But 
I don't know if we're going to be having Havertz today. It, it, it would be nice to get two in a row, but I don't know. But we do expect to see a Havertz SBC at some point. Just don't know when it is going to be. And again, as we said, it's going to be all premium footies items. For whatever votes that we have, they will all get those premium items that link just like the heroes do. Now, speaking of other SBCs, we do have the footies favorites. This is the exact same as last year. They're going to drop one player um, kind of uh, showcasing one previous month earlier this year in FIFA. Like this DePaul card celebrates the one to watch version of Rodrigo DePaul from October. So they're gonna be, there's gonna be one SBC per month, one player SBC per month. So that's gonna average out to about one to two per week. So since footies is a five week promo, we'll probably have the November October's footy favorite in the, uh, the next few days as a part of this first week of footies as well. So that's just kind of something to watch out for. We'll probably see leagues for those. DePaul's SBC is very nice as well. If you need a La Liga box to box card with Argentinian links, five star weak foot, four star skills, high, high, pretty good value. Can't go wrong with that one right there. Now, those SBCs were nice, but the real surprise with SBCs yesterday were these two, a footies player pick, repeatable, no limit, and a Premier League campaign bag player pick, repeatable, no limit. Now, I think these SBCs are incredible for a gamble, but the value here is not that great. If you look at a lot of the players that you're packing from this SBC, there is a clear winner here, and the Premier League campaign bag is the better value, even though I believe it's more expensive. It's like an 87 rated squad. Is that true? 87 rated squad, 50 chemistry, very craftable with all the players that are in packs. You know, having shapeshifter team of the season players in this player pick help out a lot. I did one of the footies player picks yesterday and I got like a team of the group stage card. It was like team of the group stage Donnarumma is who I packed. And then like two other 85s were in the pack. It was not good. I wish that this footies player pick was cheaper because right now it's coming in at about 100,000 coins to do. If you take a look at footbin, it's about 100,000 coins to do. If this was only like 70K to do, it might be a lot more fun to try to rinse and repeat. I think it's a little expensive. It's still fun. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's a little expensive, but the Premier League campaign player pick, this one's a little bit better value, but still it's really hard. 137,000 coins at this stage of the game, unless you're packing a really, really solid card, which is not that common. Um, you know, it, it's fun to do, but it's really not a good use of your coins. There's going to be an 85 times 10 that is going to be dropped soon. We're going to have that SBC repeatable in probably the next month. So yes, this is fun, but this is just the beginning, right? This is this is a just another step in that direction of summer content on FIFA. And we did do a few of these yesterday. I think the best card that I got was like Shapeshifter's Cucarella, if that tells you anything. So these are fun. They're going to be very craftable once we get upgrade SBCs and upgrade packs up uh, coming out in this game on like Monday and stuff. But as for right now, a lot of people just did these yesterday because they were brand new and because they were hype. And right away when I saw these drop in the game yesterday, I was like, oh my goodness, fodder is going to go to the moon because people love these sorts of gamble SBCs and they're repeatable with no limit. And you look at SBC fodder and that is exactly what has happened on some parts of the fodder market. Look at 84s. They're approaching 5,000 coins after yesterday being 3K before SBC content. That was 100% unexpected. I had no... Um, realistic expectations of EA dropping a player pick SBC, those two, like they did yesterday. I don't think anybody expected that. Look at that rise on the fodder. 86s are 13, 14K, 87s are 16. So your your lower tier fodder is the stuff that is up the most, right? 85s were like six and a half, seven K. They're now nine and a half thousand coins. It's a flip side. It's it, the situation is flipped for the higher tier part of the market, though. Take a look at 90 rated cards. You know, you had gold Harry Kane, gold Conte, and gold Neuer were like 30, 35,000 coins. They're now up like crazy because they're out of packs. Their gold cards are. But now you have all of these special promo cards that are re-released back into packs. They are now driving the higher rated prices on fodder down lower because they're just getting supplied and they're getting packed like crazy now that they've been re-released back into packs and getting supplied once again. So the lower tier fodder is actually doing really, really well at the moment. 
And I think it's going to continue to do well because if you're somebody on FIFA that's opening packs right now, like I opened saved 85 times fives. Uh, I opened a couple of the swaps packs, like an 81 times, 82 times 25 and an 83 times 25. If you take a look at the specials that I have packed in the past day, I got a Danny Alves. I got a Cucarella, Upamecano, um, a couple informs here and there. I packed a Jude yesterday. I packed a De Bruyne um, summer signature signings. Like, there's just tons of high-rated fodder that people are packing. And once they pack a 93, 92, 91 rated card, it only takes a couple other higher rateds. And then you fill in some 84s to get one of these two player pick SBCs done. And people feel like they're doing those SBCs a lot cheaper. And that's why you have the low tier on fodder going up because people are packing high rated they put those into the SBC then they go out and they buy somebody like Ilicic on the market for four to five thousand coins they buy a few 84s 85s and boom that's why these cards are going up and that's why uh you're seeing them going up it's just because that demand is there for those player picks and that single-handedly is moving the lower tier on fodder up it's probably going to even go a little bit higher today on Saturday I would imagine as more people go and do those SBCs, I don't know what would make fodder drop today unless there's literally zero content that gets released and they keep running lightning rounds or they do preview packs, which we didn't see yesterday. I don't expect preview packs. That's I just feel like that's one of the only things that would maybe make fodder drop a little bit at this point. So fodder is looking like it's just going to continue to go up during this week because we have SBCs out that are repeatable. They're gamble SBCs, and we're going to be getting more footies content throughout the rest of this week. So if you want to buy some fodder, I mean, it seems crazy to try to buy 84s at like four and a half K, but this might be one of the weeks where 84s like other times this year have gone to like six to seven to 8,000 coins. You know, we, we could be in one of those weeks right now because we have a repeatable gamble SBC that people will want to do all week long throughout the rest of this week in footies team one. So that's just kind of one thing to think about. I'm, I, I wanted to spend a while talking about that in the video today because that's just huge. Those two player picks yesterday changed a lot for SBC fodder on this game. Now, we've talked a lot about SBCs. Let's talk about objectives for just a little bit because we did just show the mount and we showed the Reese James, but these are incredible S these are incredible objectives and we still have the Mbabu that we got dropped yesterday as well. This objective right here, the dynamic duo, incredible, right? It's a GG, the Premier League talent, live foot friendly is not that difficult. A lot of people I have heard are even playing golden goal. So this is nice. There's no max number of matches per day. All you have to have is three clubs, eight Premier League players. That's a W. So if you want to go ahead, get yourself uh, the Reese James. I think you actually have to get the Reese James in order to finish uh, the Mason Mount because you have to do like play or score in three separate matches with Reese James in your team. And then uh, you know, you have to play four matches with him and your team, but you have to score 15 goals to even get uh, this footies Reese James card. So it's a little bit of a grind to get these guys done, but it's not bad. Chelsea fans are absolutely loving it. And those are some pretty fantastic cards, especially that Reese James. If you want to get just one of these two, Reese James is definitely the one to go for. Uh, the objective for Mbabu is kind of nice as well. It is through squad battles or rivals. So a little Bundesliga right back action there. Pretty solid card. Our yearly special Mbabu card at the end of the year that is super duper cracked. So that's nice to have as well. Now, the S, the objective that's an L from yesterday is this Footies Premier League Cup. And it's not an L because of the rewards. I mean, take a look at these rewards. You're getting a, um, a player pick at the end here that is a 93 plus Tots Shapeshifters or Hero Shapeshifter player. At 26 wins, you're also getting a one of three 92 plus Shapeshifters, Tots or Hero player. There's so many great rewards. Uh, another 92 plus tots pack in here and 85 times five at 22 wins. You know, you're getting great rewards along the way. The problem is what EA require in this uh, friendly game mode, five matches per day, and it's not golden goal. It's classic match. So we were just used to these, you know, shapeshifters cup where it was first two, you would go and you'd play your five games and it would take you like 20 minutes. That's it because it was golden goal. This time you have to play out the full match. Some people may be playing golden goal, but not that many. You only get five matches per day and you have to play with 18 Premier League players from the exact club. And this is extremely difficult unless you have kept a lot of cards in your club throughout the entirety of the year from one of the 
Like there's like four or five clubs that this is this is possible with without going and buying cards off of the market. Um, and to be competitive in this game mode, it's like Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, um, uh, Tottenham, and I think there's one more I'm forgetting. Maybe maybe Chelsea or Arsenal. I think it's possible to, to do this with as well. And what happened was yesterday, people went out to try to start doing this objective and bronze and silver players, check your clubs once again, bronze and silver players from those clubs that I just named off. Like, let's take a look at Manchester City. Manchester City silvers yesterday were like extinct. They were stupid high in price. Wow, look, Manchester City bronzes and silvers are extinct on the market and the golds are up in price. Even like your gold Zinchenko. I think the cheapest gold for a Man City player is like 4,000 coins on the market right now because of that objective and because of EA requiring uh, th that stuff. And it almost seemed like a glitch or like it was a, it was wrong. Even look at these Manchester United bronze cards are, are 9,000 coins they're selling for on the market right now. And it's literally because you have to have 18 players. These guys don't have to play. They just have to be on the bench. But, you know, it almost seemed like that was an error from EA yesterday, which I think that was too much from EA. I think they should have only required 11, not 18. That's crazy to do that. I understand if they want people to try to play with a... Uh, club of players from one club like that's fine that's kind of cool right give us you know that sort of objective game mode but 18 players is too many so i think that's a bit of a bummer and i think that i don't think ea is going to change it though because you know ho hopefully they do but it, it seems like it's going to stick so that was kind of the l from yesterday the fact that that objective mode is not an objective mode that is first two or golden goal and the fact that it requires 18 players from one club that was pretty crazy and honestly not very well received yesterday on the game. Now, we've talked a lot about content. Let's talk about the market for a bit because there were some absolutely mad movements on the market. We talked about fodder going up in price, but of course, best of batch number one. And I wanna take a look at these cards here really fast. You guys know which cards are in packs. This is the official spreadsheet. I'll put a link to this down below in the description if you wanna have a closer look at it. This is the footies foot 22 best of batch one. And the best part is it's the worst batch and it's only in packs for one week. Last year, batch two was in packs for two weeks. This year, it's only one singular week. Now, we still have some really good cards in here, right? We've got team of the years. We've got some fantasy foot cards. Those are probably the most popular with the fantasy foot. Alan St. Maximin. You've got Usman Dembele. You've got Coutinho. Team of the year, Messi, Ronaldo, and Mbappe, and N'Golo Kante, all packable right now. But the biggest part and the best part about this, once again, is you've got so many special cards packable via a hundred cards in packs right now. Fodder is absolutely tremendous. As many of you guys probably saw in the game yesterday, it is very easy to open packs right now and to get something pretty good from inside of those packs. Like, I mean, as I showed you in my club, I've got that Jude Bellingham that I packed yesterday from an 85 times five. I have got the uh, SS KDB that I packed yesterday from an 85 times five. So many of those promo cards. Like if I, if you go look at the, um, pack probabilities right now, 8% of the ones to watch. Like it's crazy to see 17% chance of a team of the week player in a 100 K pack at the moment. It's crazy to go down through this list and see all of the different like percentage points and odds for all of the different special cards that are in packs right now. It's pretty crazy. I'm going to open one with coins right here because why not? Let's see what happens. They're not running late night lightning rounds, which doesn't help fodder. We do get a special. We are going to get ourselves Tiago Jallo. 85 rated. Now, also what's fun about all these packs is some of them show up like that Tiago Jallo did. And then other ones are like hiding in behind. Do we have any hiders? We don't like some, sometimes cards will hide here at the back. So make sure every time you open a pack, obviously you check the front, but before you send your items to the club, if it's a big pack, go back and see if you have any cards sitting back here, because I packed multiple cards yesterday that were sitting at the very end of the pack, kind of hiding as a, a dangler, as some people call them, right, in the pack. So make sure you check that out. But again, the cards that are in packs, they're pretty nice. Again, it's all about the fodder. And if you saved your, your 85 times fives, and if you saved your 82, 83, 84, 85 times 20 or 25 packs, like 
it was really, really worth it because the amount of fodder you got back for the higher rated was absolutely worth the wait. And it was just great yesterday on this game, seeing everybody packing a lot of cards. Now, of course, those cards that are in packs, like these re-release cards, they're all down in price and they're gonna keep dropping. Uh, we had drop-offs yesterday, Coutinho right now. Oh my goodness, 410K. He was just like 470. He's down to like 417. These cards are going to continue to fluctuate day in and day out. And, you know, last year I was talking about cards that dropped off like 90% in value. That didn't happen this year, but it didn't happen because we did not have preview packs this year, right? Last year I talked about that in yesterday's video. We saw cards drop from 800K to 100K last year. We didn't see as drastic of drops yesterday and into today just because we didn't have those preview packs. And that to me says that we're gonna continue to see these cards still packed over the weekend. I think there's more room to drop, especially if you think about better cards in packs like Team of the Seasons, Shapeshifters, that's gonna come in batch two, batch three of this footies promo in a week or two weeks down the line. So I honestly think that these card prices are probably going to drop a bit more, but they're still going to fluctuate here or there, right? You know, this Winter Wildcards Neymar yesterday went from like, you know, 800K down to like 560. He bounced back up to like 650K. Alan St. Maxman has been bouncing between like 1.2 and 1.4 million coins like every two or three hours. He's 1.3 mil right now, but it's just really risky to mess with this stuff because while it still is, you know, kind of rare and you're looking at these cards like Nate, like there's not a lot of Alan St. Maximus on the market. Is he going to rebound back up? He might have some fluctuations, but they're still in packs and they're still getting supplied. It's really not worth the risk for me, unless you're going to use them in your weekend league team, try them out for a few games because they've dropped down in price so much, then go ahead and do that. But uh, don't expect these cards to rise up too much in, in the near future. You know, even as they go out of packs, because they're going to get supplied a lot this week and there's better cards to get re-released back in packs later on in the next couple of weeks so that's kind of the situation with the batch one cards again it is only one week which is interesting before batch one was two weeks but it's only one week this time and i'm kind of a fan for it so that's kind of the situation with the cards that are in packs um of course as expected there were plenty of opportunities to make coins yesterday plenty i'm talking plenty right your shapeshifters your tots cards notice the ones that i'm trading with were the ones that we talked about in yesterday's video as well your cards that got panic sold yesterday there were there were low prices before content there were low prices after content there were tons of areas to trade on the game this rashford i bought for 1.25 sold them for 1.5 hazard was bought for 970k sold for 1.15 mil. You know, I bought a Pedri at a 480, sold him at 580. I bought Sane's at like 250, sold him at 300. Edir Militao, I sold way too early. He went almost back to 300,000 coins. Uh, a lot of your Premier League cards rebounded well. Tim Cahill was 300, went to 350, 360. And I'm still trying to sell a couple cards as well that I still bought yesterday. There was, there was great opportunities to trade and there was a lot of movement on the market. You just kind of had to pick your spots very strategically. And I think you really want to watch Premier League cards. Now I bought this Werner for a quick flip because he was Premier League and he was going up. See, he's still not up that much, but I want to keep, I want you guys to keep watch on Premier League out of pack specials because if you see fluctuations on them, uh, you know, those are in demand more than other cards are right now. And if you take a look at other Premier League cards, just a great example of a card that did amazing yesterday, Joao Cancelo, left back. We just, the um, Ricardo Pereira SBC, like literally just expired a couple days ago. This Cancelo dropped to like 200K when that came out. He's back to 250 uh, because everybody wanted to go do Luis Diaz yesterday and get a card to link that Luis Diaz so Tots Cancelo not being in packs, but being the best left back in the Prem has extremely bounced back in price. So that's the sort of movements that you saw yesterday on the market. And those Premier League cards are going to maintain their value this weekend because that's where the hype is right now. That's where the content is being pushed with the SBCs and objective, the premium footies items. So I would expect to con continue to see that on the game. Now let's talk a little bit about um, mistakes, but actually before we do that, I wanna mention weekendly rewards. As you guys are playing weekendly this weekend, you might notice your rewards are not actually red picks. The cards that are coming out of the uh, player picks for foot champs rewards are the actual car designs. Tots and shapeshifters are, you know, their normal blue and green cards, not red variants coming out of those player picks. Whether it's EA being lazy and not wanting to make a red card design or create those cards with the red foot champions design, I don't know what it is. 
it's fine to me. Honestly, it does seem like a little odd because usually red picks are a sign that you played weekend league. And now people are going to have untradeable shapeshifter and tots cards in their teams that, that, you know, look like they just packed them during the promo. It just doesn't feel maybe as special or set apart as a reward from weekend league. So if you're opening your rewards and you're confused, that's one thing to watch out for. And EA mistakes. I'm going to talk about this because you might have been impacted by some of the mistakes that EA made yesterday. They made a couple different mistakes. Here's the first one. We were all supposed to get 85 plus player packs, three of them, and we never got them, right? I still have not got mine. A lot of people have not gotten theirs. So they're investigating reports and they'll probably get us these by the end of the week. It'll take a few days, but they were going to give us free packs. And of course, it took them way too long to do it. So they have not given us those yet. So just keep waiting. We'll wait for some compensation from EA regarding that. They also tweeted about a... Danny Alves, his gold rare card was being packed instead of the foot birthday. Now, I packed a foot birthday. You guys saw that in my club. But what that would tell me is this Danny Alves, whenever this compensation happens and whenever they tweet about it, um, it's going to take a couple of days, right? This sort of compensation does take a couple of days. So I wouldn't expect Danny Alves to like, you know, tank this morning because of that tweet. He was down to 194. It went back to 230. And is now back down to 195. Maybe we'll take a quick look at him if people are panic selling this, because I really doubt that Danny Alves is going to get his compensation stuff taken care of, um, you know, before like at least today. So, you know, you might have opportunities to try to trade with a few of these cards, but if you pack the gold version of Danny Alves, you'll have a foot birthday version coming your way. Again, like I said, it's it just risky to trade with these cards right now. I was thinking about buying Coutinho or an Alan St. Maximin because of the Premier League hype that's going on right now. And especially if you want to go out and try a card, like I kind of want to try Alan St. Max, you know, 1.2 mil, that kind of interests me. But um, yeah, he's just getting supplied. He's continuing to get packed. He's probably going to drop more later on this week. So I'll pass on that for now, unless I'm going to try him out for just a game or so. But those are kind of the two big mistakes that EA made yesterday. Also, there was one other one, and this one's comical. I can't lie. This one is absolutely comical. But the best way for me to show you is to show you inside of this team right here. So I've got my Spurs squad, right? And in the Spurs squad, I have got La Liga players, and I have got my Tottenham players. Now, let me take a look and show you at the Adama Traore card. It's a re-released item for Adama. Oh, they fixed it. Oh, EA fixed it, man. Well, okay, here's the story. So earlier today, Adama Traore was Premier League, like this card was re-released. It was re-released in, in Footy's Batch 1, right? Put back in packs. But since Adama transferred teams and he has another card in the game that is a Barcelona item, this card, the foot for, uh, for ice, whatever this was called, right? The, the ice version, it had a Barcelona badge, but when you right moused over on the card, it still had the English one links. So I put this Adama in my team and it was getting a soft link to all the Tottenham players that were in the Premier League in this squad, but it was also getting a soft link to Aubameyang. So it looks like they fixed that now and it doesn't look as funny or it doesn't look as cool, but that was a crazy mistake that EA made yesterday. Somehow this 86 rated Adama became a Barcelona card that was Spanish, but also still in the Premier League. So he linked to like all of those different teams. It was kind of crazy. That was a small mistake from yesterday. It was kind of crazy to see on the market. And I had to mention that just because it was pretty crazy. So really quickly to end this video off, I know it's been a long one, but there's been so much to talk about. What can we expect today on Saturday? Well, like I mentioned, more people are going to be going out and getting rewards and wanting to do this SBC right here. These two, the Premier League campaign and the footies player pick. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do any more of these until we get to Monday with upgrade packs. Probably going to wait till then, save my coins, start you know ripping through those when we get to there. But some people will not be able to do that. Some people are maybe finishing up swap tokens to get 82, 83 times 25, stuff like that. And they might be going and doing those today. I think that fodder will probably continue to go higher today, especially on the lower tier end. Your 83s, 84s, 85s, probably going to rise up a little bit. Um, other than that, though, the really other only movement that I would expect to see today would be your cards that are in packs for batch one probably continue to drop off and probably continue to get packed, especially on like Saturday night into Sunday as people finish off their weekly games. Um, I think you would see some supply for these coming back on the market as people sell them and know that they're still going to be getting packed. And then also watch the shapeshifters because I've noticed too that since the shapeshifters are packable in rank four and above, 
Uh, you, you've had some tradable supply, some fresh cards. Like I went to buy a Grealish yesterday in the panic selling, and the one that I bought was a a fresh Grealish, like no games played, right? And Grealish was in the first week of shapeshifters. So I was like, hmm, how is that possible? Then I remembered the weekend league rewards. So keep an eye on those. I don't think the weekend league rewards will impact these guys' prices on the market really that much at all. Uh, but for the batch one cards, I would expect to see them dropping down in price today on Saturday. And then content wise, I have no idea what to expect today on Saturday. I mean, I think yesterday was such a huge day. Saturdays are usually pretty quiet anyway. I'm not expecting anything super duper crazy today, but who knows? We didn't expect those player picks yesterday and they dropped. So we'll see what EA Sports has for us on this fine Saturday. Good luck with your weekend league games. Good luck if you're opening packs and hopefully we can get that 85 times 10 pretty soon as well. I don't know if that'd be today, but maybe like Sunday, maybe Monday or Tuesday. EA, we love it 85 times 10 whenever you want to drop it. So we're ready. We're ready for player picks as well. We're going to talk about all of that uh, you know, in the future when we get closer and closer to it. And of course, watch out for the leaks today. Maybe there will be a last minute leaked Saturday player SBC. Maybe Havertz will be today. I really don't know. Kind of just, we don't know what to expect today on Saturday after the wild day that we had yesterday on FIFA for the day one of footies. But what a hype day indeed that it was. If you did enjoy it, tell me down below what you enjoyed the most out of footies yesterday. For me, it was those surprise player picks. And I think that the SBC for Luis Diaz was pretty cool. The premium footies design and that whole idea is a W. So if you did enjoy today's video though, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Happy Saturday. It's been Nate the Boot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.